Man, there was this one Halloween too. It was icy out and I was excited. So I was, you know, kind of half running uh, and I slipped on some ice, dropped my candy everywhere, oh. completely bruised my butt. That's rough. It was the worst. <laughs> it was so, it was, that was a, that was a tough Halloween for me. And it was like right near the end too. So I lost most of my candy and then didn't even have time to recoup it. Ugh. I was so sad. So wait, when the candy went scattering, you didn't pick it back up? Well, I tried, but mm-hmm. it was dark. There was only so much I could do. Can I tell you my saddest? And some was in, some was in a puddle too. Like you can't oh, save then, every piece. Yeah. yeah. My saddest trick-or-treating story. Mm-hmm. My stepdad took my older brother, Bill, and I around the neighborhood. And he said, now, just so you know, kids, there is a rule that uh, if the light is off, you don't go up to the house mm-hmm. and knock on the door, ring the doorbell. And uh, even as a kid, even as a 10-year-old precocious little bastard, I thought, that that rule's bullshit. (laughs) Right. It's Halloween. (laughs) I thought the same thing. I'm going to pump every single house for Mm -hmm. all the candy. So I decided to test that rule. Come to find out your parents tell you things for a reason. I knocked, banged on the door, nothing. Mm Mm-hmm. Banged on the door again. Meanwhile, I'm watching my brother get farther and farther away. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the youngest. And he's, you know, two houses down, bang on the door, three houses down. Finally, a frail old woman comes to the door and says, oh, don't you look cute. And um, she said, I I don't really have anything. But then she said, well, let me, four houses down, you know, I'm keep, I'm tracking everything. Let me see what I have in the fridge. Five houses, six houses down, half a block away now. She comes back with a single unwrapped coconut macaroon. And I, I thanked her profusely because I did have a, even though I wanted to test the waters, test the rule, see if my dad was right. And he was. Um, and, and I just feel so bad because I didn't eat it. Oh, no. When, when compared to, you know, Skittles yeah. and Snickers, I was like, I don't trust this. Well, Mom, do you want co- it? Co- sure, honey. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coconut's not good when you're a kid. Right. Coconut yeah. isn't a treat. Yeah. Remember going to your grandma's house and you were so excited to see her because you knew you'd get spoiled. And she said, hey, little Mikey, do you, do you want a treat? Hey, little Carly, <laughs> do you want a treat? And then they'd give you an Almond Joy. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma, <laughs> treats don't contain nuts. Cre- treats don't contain Less coconut. peanut butter. Or she'd point to a bowl of fruit on the table. Mm-hmm. That's not a treat. Jolly <laughs> Ranchers are a treat. Yes. Gummy Lifesavers are a treat. Mm-hmm. An apple? That's th- it doesn't belong in a Christmas stocking. Yeah. It doesn't belong is it in the treat section? <laughs> it's fruit. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't care about fiber then. I sure do now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you get a little older and a little wiser and also, you know, you get a little more uh decrepit. <laughs> yeah. And I think about <laughs> that. To keep going. <laughs> little old lady. Every Halloween. You think you've got guilt. I'm just (laughs) crushed by the weight of all my mistakes. And also, that's how you learn. It is. It is. That's how you learn. Yeah. Yeah.